Welcome back. It's art time class. Today, I'm joined by Buddy the Bird, and we're going to be creating an image in a new app called Keynotes. Let's get started. To find the Keynotes app, you're going to be looking for a blue icon with what looks like a white lamp or a white podium in the middle. If you can't find this icon, you can scroll down a little and type in the letter K-E-Y, and you'll see Keynotes pops up right here. When you open that, you're going to start a new presentation. You can click on the plus sign or you can click on create presentation to start a new one. It's going to give you the option to choose a theme or start your own layout. I recommend just go ahead and choose a theme and the theme we're going to start with was either white or basic white. Once you click on white or basic white, it's going to load and open up to this. You can tap on these and you can delete them. You could also click the plus sign down here and scroll to the bottom to get a blank screen as well. But we want to start with a blank screen to begin our drawing. Next, we're going to start adding a drawing in. Let's take a close look at these icons at the top. So these icons right here, when I click on the plus sign, it's going to give me some options. And I want to do the drawing option down here. You can see that I can insert a video or pictures or take a picture with my camera. I can also insert audio. There's lots of different things we can do, but we're going to start with drawing. Right away, that's going to give us the different markup tools at the bottom that we've been working with for the last few weeks. I recommend drawing a scene of landscape. So like green grass or a blue sky and a tree. So let's get started with that. I'm going to do blue for the sky. Let's see, fill all this in. Ooh, yes. Okay, so there's like a blue sky. I actually want that a little farther down. Oh, yeah. Um, and then I'm going to start by adding a tree. Let's get a little brown. Let's see, it's like a dark orange color. There it is. And I'm going to draw up this way. So I want to start my drawing by adding from the trunk and going up. Let's do, let's try the crayon tool. Ooh, I like that too. Let's see, I want a thicker line. So I can click and hold on the tool to make a thicker line. There we go. So for my drawing, I'm going to create this tree in the four different seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And here is already a great winter drawing by leaving the ground white that creates a good winter drawing. If you want to do something like the morning, the daytime, evening, and nighttime, you could definitely do that too. But once you have your base image, like I think this tree looks pretty nice. I think I want to add a little bit more sh different shades of brown to my tree. It's going to give it a little more texture, a little more realism. We even add to the branch there. Oh, yes, I like that. A little bit there and a little bit out here for the roots. All right, so here is my base drawing. When I'm done with that, I'm going to click at this top left corner, done. And here I see the updated on the slide over here. Now we're going to make a duplicate of the slide. So click and hold on, uh, click here. And it's going to bring up that mini menu and you're going to click the word duplicate. That's going to create a copy of our drawing. Now I'm going to add springtime. So let's add some green on the ground. So again, I'm going to click on the plus sign and go to drawing. And let's see here. Ooh, actually, I think I know another way to add green grass. I'm going to click on the back of the slide and I'm going to click on this little paintbrush right here. And I'm going to click on the background color instead of it being white. I'm going to change it to a different color. Let's see what green looks like. Oh, woo, 
that was so fast and easy. I like that idea. So I created a green grass for the background there. Now I need to add some green leaves, I think on top of our tree. So let's add to our drawing and I'm going to do green leaves. Let's see, green here, click on that. Little bitty buds of green leaves. Some trees have like flowers, right? In the springtime, so I might even add some flowers as well. Let's see, let's start adding a little bit more, making my tree look a bit fuller. There's lots of different things you can do on this. If I wanted to add like a cloud in the sky, I could. I could add more grass coming up from the bottom. It's really up to you. Let's see here. I like this and I think I'm done with that. And this feels a lot like summer to me. So I'm going to click right there and I'm going to duplicate. And I'm going to make this one into spring by adding more to my drawing. And I'm going to do some pink. So I'll click here to pick a color. Let's see, like this color right there. I like that. So it's adding a little pink to it. Like your little flowers. And then, yes, I like that. So click done up here. And then I wanted to also do autumn as well. So. Let's duplicate this again up here. It's creating like a little copy. And again, I want to select that bottom part down here and go to the paintbrush and change my background color to be green. And let's make this, I guess, like that. And this time when I draw, I'm going to add different leaf colors. Let's do some red leaves. Make it look more autumn-y. So when you turn in this activity, you should have a few pictures to send me. You'll have the base image. For me, it's the blue sky and the tree. And then you'll also have a, um, some different details in those different images. There's red leaves, that's some yellow. And let's also add some orange. Do you like it, buddy? Click done. And I think on my summer image, I'm going to add what will look like an apple. So let's add to my drawing here. Let's do let's use this to do an apple here, apple there. Yay! I could even add an apple down here if I wanted. And let's be sure to give it like a little shadow. This looks like it fell on the ground. Woo! So I can take a screenshot of these different images and send them to me. So it looks like I have different seasons. So let's go ahead and I'm going to click and hold and drag this because I want winter, spring, and then I want to move autumn to be after. Let's see here, let's do, there we go. So I have winter, spring, summer, and autumn. <gasps> cool, cool. And now I'm gonna go up to the top and I can click the play button. So now it's full screen, I can take a screenshot Screenshot, click, <gasps> screenshot, click. Oh, I love it, it looks so cool, yay. Well guys, be sure to send me a copy of your different images and until next time, keep being creative.